the exaltation of the cross, la exaltación de la cruz. And notice we say exaltation, not veneration of the cross or adoration of the cross, but exaltation. So there's a, a great significance in using that word, which I will use to go deeper into what we want to celebrate today. La exaltación de la cruz. Y nota que no estamos diciendo la adoración de la cruz, ni la veneración de la cruz. Es la exaltación de la cruz. Y la palabra propia ya tiene un mensaje y encarna lo que queremos celebrar en el día de hoy, en la exaltación de la cruz. So if we take the actual word, exaltation, and you look at the root word, it has two parts, the ex and the altus. Ex, which means out, and altus, which means high. So something of the exaltation of the cross we're bringing out and we're bringing on high. Ex altus. So I leave you with this question. What is it that may, may be a good opportunity today to bring out and to bring on high in direct relationship with the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ? So what would be good to bring out and on high? I'll be back once I speak uh, translated in Spanish. La palabra exaltación está compuesta de dos partes, el ex y el altus. Ex significa afuera, altus arriba. Una exaltación implica traer algo hacia afuera y hacia arriba. Y nota que es la palabra exaltación, no veneración. Si utilizamos la palabra veneración viene del bene, algo bueno. Cuando veneramos algo es porque algo es bueno. Pero aquí es más que algo bueno, es algo que estamos sacando, ex, y algo que estamos trayendo en alto, altus, exaltación. Adoración, bueno, la adoración se la damos a, solamente a Dios. Así que cautela de que no caigamos en idolatría, de adorar algo que es un símbolo de un gran misterio, pero no es Dios. La cruz no es Dios, sino el Cristo que muere en la cruz, ese sí es Dios. Así que hay que tener cautela del uso de palabras. Pero exaltación, ex afuera y en alto. ¿Qué será lo que en esta celebración podemos sacar hacia afuera y en alto en relación con el misterio de la cruz? Uh, so in regards to what is it that we're called to bring out and on high. Uh, the whole mystery of the cross is an answer to a big mystery. Now that I'm teaching the students at San Leo, you know, and I'm just going back to the academia world, you really see how the mystery of the question, well, if, if we truly believe that God is good and loving and merciful and almighty and all the attributes that we as Christians put in God, and the question that follows is, is then why is there still suffering in the world? Why is there evil in the world? If he's good and loving, why is he allowing pain, evil, suffering in the world? This is a question that not just for our students, uh, but it's a, it's a big question that hunts the human race. And we as Christians believe that the cross gives you an answer. That God, precisely because he's good and loving, allows the mystery of the choosing to do something bad, evil, sin, suffering in the world, because one, we're created free. We have to have the ability to choose not to love God, although that will be against our nature, but if we are created free, we must have that choice. But the second one, because through the mystery of what the Father allows in suffering, the pain of evil, through it, he's working something greater. When we see the cross, we're seeing that great mystery. That God often allows very painful things. One, to respect our freedom, but also because through it, he's working something greater. So I go back to the question. What could be that which you're called to bring out ex and on high, altus? with the cross of Jesus Christ. I'll come back once I translate in Spanish. Ya he hablado un poquito sobre 
la palabra no veneración, no adoración, sino exaltación. ¿Qué es lo que podemos traer hacia afuera y traer en alto? Yo me atrevo a decir que algo muy precioso que podríamos hacer en esta celebración eucarística, en esta celebración de la exaltación de la cruz, es sacar hacia afuera tu propia cruz. ¿Cuál es tu cruz? Sácala afuera. Imagínate la tienes aquí al frente. Y que de alguna manera ver esta cruz, puedes ver en ella todo lo que te ha tocado o te está tocando de vivir cosas difíciles, dolorosas, enfermedad, sufrimiento, injusticias, preocupaciones, ansiedades. ¿Cuál es tu cruz? Vamos a sacarla afuera, el ex, pero no solamente sacarla afuera para verla, para estudiarla, para contemplarla, sino para traerlo en alto y lo hacemos por medio de traerlo en el altar. Hoy es un día que queremos tomar un poco de descanso de nuestra cruz al sacarla y ponerla en el altar. Para ponerla en el altar y que no se nos olvide que esta es mi cruz con Cristo. Cristo muere en cruz conmigo desde mi cruz. Mi cruz es tu cruz. Tu cruz es mi cruz. Al salirlo, sacarlo afuera es para unirlo en alto con la cruz de Cristo cruz de Cristo es tu cruz, tu cruz es la cruz con Cristo. Así que un día como hoy, un día muy especial para sacar hacia afuera nuestra cruz, verla, estudiarla, analizarla, ponerla en el altar, descansar y decir, Cristo Jesús, esta cruz que me ha dado, que me ha tocado, la pongo en este altar para por medio de Cristo Jesús traerlo en alto y compartir con Cristo en ese gran misterio de saber que ciertamente el Padre permite cruces, dolores, sufrimientos, enfermedades y cuando el Padre así lo permite es por medio de ello que quiere sacarle un mayor bien así que en esta celebración de la exaltación, exaltación de la cruz saquemos nuestra cruz Pongámosla en el altar y en Cristo Jesús la vamos a, altar, a, abrir en, a levantar en alto para que así nos se recuerde. Mi cruz es tu cruz, Cristo. Tu cruz, Cristo, es mi cruz. Y unido en Cristo podamos ofrecer esas cruces para la gloria de su nombre. So when we look at the question of what could be something that we bring out and on high. Today, in the celebration of the exaltation of the cross, It's a good opportunity for us to bring out our own crosses. What is your cross? What are you struggling with right now? Is there some illness, some injustice, some fears, some preoccupations, some worries? What is your cross? Where are you asked to make this great sacrifice of love for someone else? Where are you asked to lay down your life? Where are you asked to forgive? Where are you asked to be forgiving? Where you have to be patient, to be kind, even when perhaps people are treating you in the wrong ways. What is your cross? Let's bring it out, but not just out, but on high, altus, exaltus. We want to bring it, and how do we do that? Well, first, let's bring it out today. This is a good opportunity in this Mass to once again bring it out as to lay it down here at the altar. Okay, Lord. This is my cross. And I believe that in this cross you are with me and I am with you. In the mystery of this cross I believe that God is working something greater. That he's giving me the freedom to choose do I want to pick up this cross or not. And only the freedom but it, through it he's working something greater. So Jesus I lay down my cross. I bring it out to you. I lay at the altar. And in, with, through Jesus Christ, I want to bring it on high. In Christ Jesus, bring it on high to the Father, knowing that I am one with Christ. Christ is one with me, and together we are offering our process to the glory of the Father. So today, of all days, is a good day to bring it out, your cross, to lay it down, so that through the Holy Eucharist, We may bring it on high and together as a community celebrate the exaltation 
of the cross.